Oh my goodness, guys, because apparently I, I climbed over those trees. Well, apparently my butt is brown. I couldn't hold it, okay? I had to go. Okay. Look at my butt. It's brown. <laughs> Welcome to Rod's World, Rod's World, Rod's World! Hey guys, welcome to Rod's World, and guess what I'm doing today? You probably already guessed it based on the title and also on my onesie, but I'm going on a road trip. And apparently that's the thing I seem to do, is put on my onesie for road trips, because you know what? Y'all gotta be comfy. Well, at least I do. And so today is actually really cool because I'm going to be going to a Soyuz. My work is actually paying me to go out to a Soyuz. This road trip is actually going to be really cool because I'm going to be going out to a Soyuz to work on a movie, and it's going to be a wedding, or... Er, a, a summer wedding movie in the winter time, but it's supposed to be summertime, and they're overlooking like the valley where there's gonna be lots of snow, but it's supposed to be summertime. I don't know. All I know is they're paying me to go out there and to work on it. I'm fine with that. Especially because, you know what, I love road trips. And there's actually some really cool geocaches on the way down, which I'm totally going to check out. And the fun thing, my friend Paula's going to be coming too, so that's going to be awesome. And y'all want to see something crazy? Check out my mom's eye. She woke up like this. Like, look at that. She's okay. I'm, I'm guessing it's like a blood clot in the eye or something, but that is not normal. <laughs> I'm really hoping she really is okay because, I mean, she says she's not in too much pain. It just itches a little bit. Well, actually a lot. But oh my god, her eye is bloody. She's got a bloody eye. Wow, it's like I'm swearing in England. <laughs> so guys, without further ado, let's get those wheels a turning. And of course, guys, I had to do a quick stop. Y'all know this, Starbucks, why haven't you guys sponsored me yet? Just sponsor me. And guys, our first stop, apparently this trail here was the engineer's road. People would use it for the gold mining. So we're totally gonna check it out. It's apparently a 15 minute walk and there's two abandoned cabins up there. Oh, wow. That's freaking awesome. I'm so excited. I really wanna check out this cabin. Y'all know that I love abandoned things. Oh. Oh, they're honking. The people with the bed were honking at us. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, we've just, I mean, literally, we parked right down there. We came up the trail. Do you guys see that beautiful water right there? That is stunning. And of course, we have our little Inuk totem, whatever they're called. Inukshuk? Inukshuk native, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but that is beautiful. You can see right through the water. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Okay, guys, I'm really sad. There's a whole bunch of trees that fell over and... Oh, found a tree. There's a whole bunch of trees that fell over and blocked the path. So we can't really go up the path anymore. But we found something really cool, guys. Look at this waterfall. That is so cool. Yeah, I'm good. Oh my goodness, guys, somebody left their undies. That is a pair of underwear. That is disgusting. That is a pair of underwear. And they're like tidy whiteies. Well, now they're green and like brown and blue. I'm not gonna ask why they're brown, because that's disgusting and nasty. And how do you forget your underwear? Hi guys, I, s I found some magic shrooms. This is in Portland, it's not legal yet. So guys, I'm sad that I wasn't able to go all the way to the geocache, but you know what? I'm happy because no matter where I go, I can always find something and discover something like that awesome waterfall and apparently a whole bunch of rope. Y'all can't see it. It's like metal rope. That's crazy. Guys, my shoe fell off, but I found this weird yellow thing right here. Oh, it's like really hard. Ew. I don't know what it is. And guys, we think we found the shack, but I don't think it is. Again, my shoe fell off, so I'm wandering around without my shoe on. <laughs> Okay? Don't judge me! See? I'm trying to put it on. Judging! <laughs> My hands are still cold. I can't feel them from being inside that waterfall. But that'd be so cool if the shack was right here, but I don't, I don't see it. Oh my goodness, guys. Our second geocache location. Look at this beautiful rock. Oh, there's a... Is it a crow? I thought it was a vulture at first. It's a crow! Or a raven. It's a raven. Oh, it is a raven. Look at that beak. Oh, I can't do the raven noise. That is beautiful. <laughs> what I don't like, though, is everybody's doing their graffiti on the rock. Seriously. I mean, I'm happy that they love Trish, but why do we care? <laughs> of dirty things on this rock here. Dirty things. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this view. We're still at the rock. We still haven't been able to find it. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Look at this insanely unsafe place to stand. Mom, do not watch this vlog. This is crazy. I almost fell again. <laughs> I, 
That was a rock falling down from there. I don't see any animals up there. Well, that was crazy. Apparently the clue is it's in the crack, but have you guys seen this rock? Do you know how many cracks there are? Ah! I couldn't find it. Found a cool rock, but couldn't find the... I'm a horrible geocacher. Y'all know that? I haven't gone geocaching in so long. Well, we tried guys. All we found was uh, some naughty bits right there and a really cool rock with an amazing view. I am horrible at this game. Hopefully the next geocaching stop that we do, we can find it because then again, nobody else seemed to be able to find it. I looked at the backlog. No, but everybody else is having a difficult time too. So it's not just us. Oh my God. It's a murder. What do you call a group of ravens? Look at how beautiful they are. Do you guys want to know something cool? What color are crows and ravens? Can you guess just by looking at them? What color are those? Actually, you can see it. They're not black. They're actually ultraviolet. Indigo. Indigo. So they're the same colors as, as a peacock. They got purple and pink. I can actually see it on the one on the left and right. They're all the colors of the rainbow, but our eyes just can't see it. How cool is that? I wonder if I can go pet them. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You can totally try. That did not work. Trot away, trot away. Oh my goodness, guys, because apparently I, I climbed over those trees. Well, apparently my butt is brown. I couldn't hold it, okay? I had to go. Okay. Look at my butt. It's brown. <laughs> Don't oh, judge me. My I had to go. Totally judge you. Guys, oh my goodness, look where we are now. We are at the Manning Park Lodge, and it's so funny because the vlog I'm sharing today I was standing right here, vlogging away. And that was like four months ago. <laughs> so this is crazy. So we're gonna see if they have a potty. I'm not sure. I'm kind of hoping so because I gotta go potty. Oh my goodness, guys, I found a games room. They got like shuffleboard, I think that's called foosball. No, wait, that's pool. This is foosball. I don't want my boy playing no foosball. This is awesome. I don't even know what game this is. Like, what do you, I have no idea what that is. This is so cool. I don't know if I'm allowed in here though. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the tree. Do you remember this tree? They put Santa hats all over it. And it's so funny. So we're here doing a little pit stop. There's a grip that I worked with quite a bit. He's here too. I'm like, oh, are you working on the same show as us? And he's like, no, I'm on vacation. He's on vacation and we ran into him in the middle of nowhere at Manning Park. How crazy is that? I love it. You guys have a great day. Bye, really. <laughs> Bye, bye, ladies. Oh my goodness, how crazy. That is just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded, I'm baffled. I love how small the world actually is. And where did Paula go? She went, oh, she didn't go out. <laughs> I thought she went out already. No. Nope. She is sneaky. He forgot me, he forgot me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked for you. She's very, very sneaky, sir. I can plug in my vault or my bolt. Wait, no, I don't have one of those yet. I'm just an ice hole sitting here blocking all the spots. That's what everybody else does. But I can't wait. I can totally just plug my car in there. I want to use it. I still have a nice car. But I will be getting one soon. And guys, we're off to find our last geocache of the day. And apparently there's a pathway to get down there, but I don't know where it is. I think it's that. I, I, I that. don't want that to be our pathway. I'm wondering it's if it's up that. here. I don't know why this is covered up. Like, <laughs> why is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> They want to save the sign? I don't know. I saved the sign and it opened up my wall and I saved the sign. Where's the pathway? But I have to say guys, that is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It reminds me of the ice fields. I want to go drive on the ice fields again. Most beautiful drive I've ever driven on. I don't want the other way to be our pathway down. Okay, I can't, I can go down here. Guys, wish me luck. You know how clumsy I am, so I'm probably gonna fall somewhere. I almost fell there. So I'm gonna stop vlogging for a second and go down this as safe as I possibly can be. Guys, we made it down. Wow, it's, there we go. Guys, wow, I'm dark. Ah, guys, we made it down and look at how beautiful it is. I don't see any wildlife though, but oh my goodness. This is definitely worth the view coming down here. Look at the tree. I'd be like, oh, look at this, look at this. Yeah, well, look at it, it's pretty. It's like me, I'm pretty too. 
Guys, I believe it's in this uh, tree here, but I found a rock and it's actually like a full size, ridiculously heavy rock. And it says it's at the base of this all covered in debris, which there's debris right there. That's not it. My head's gonna get eaten by like a beaver or something. Wow, guys, this tree is like, it was like a married couple. You know, they couldn't decide if they wanted to go this way or that way. They did it both anyways. Well, actually, it looks like a female, Never mind. <laughs> guys, we found it. Look, look. Here it is. Yay! What a great find. She found it. That is Yay! awesome. Good job, it was our first one. <laughs> I've been doing this longer and I couldn't find it. I want to look at all the goodies inside. All right. Opening. Okay, opening. we're opening the lock lock. It's a lock <laughs> lock. Ooh. We found a little bear. Aww. A speedy thing. A little top. A little top. A little button. Nice. What is this button? Frosty. How fitting <laughs> for the area right now. Oh, there's a tiger thing. This guy's like went oh, to the dollar awesome. store. Actually, I love this. It's a little thing nice. flag button. And these people like went to the dollar. What is this? Oh, a business card. Regina Geocachers. Ooh. If you are a geocacher in Saskatchewan, please join. What a random thing. Ooh. <laughs> Congratulations, you found it international, intentionally or not. Well, we were looking for it. We kind of gave up, and then she found this awesome tree, and I looked under its legs, and uh, <laughs> I found the prize. <laughs> what is the hidden container sitting here for? What the heck is this thing? Oh, it's to teach people who don't know about geocaching. Right. That's super cool. And there's the sign-in sheet right here. And is this a cool. condom? What? No, no it's, it's a white. moist towelette. A handy white. Or whatever they are. I yeah. would not recommend using that as a condom. <laughs> Somebody, like, did a custom-made thing in there? That's kind of cool. There's a bungee cord. What is the bungee cord? Random. Oh, there's like, I don't even know. Random. But look at how thick this is. And wow. giggity, that's what she said. That's awesome. I don't have a pen now. I can't sign it. That's super cool. I'm too bad I left mine up in the car. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, as I said, I usually don't um, sign, them anyway. sign these yeah. things. That's super cool. We found it though, guys. That's awesome. What a, what a cool tree for it to be in. Never give up. Never surrender. But how funny, guys. It was our first one that we found, and it was our last geocache that we were searching for because it's getting dark and it's scary when it's dark. Ah. <laughs> okay, guys, on the road again. This time it's a non-stop drive to the hotel. I don't even know what hotel I'm going to. Thankfully, she does because I didn't know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. He's telling me anything. So, guys, we made it to the hotel, and look, this town is Uber. No, guys, it's Hooper. I got so excited. I was like, Uber order some food but we went to subway so i'm good okay guys i made it into my hotel room is this the light nope that is not the light where's the light switch oh, we got the bathroom <laughs> where's the light oh wow guys guys i have a fridge a whole kitchenette with a stove this isn't like the last hotel i was put in by a production but you know what this is still pretty cool and guys check out my bed wow oh, jesus <laughs> That was fun. And my view, I wonder what I can see from here. Ooh, I can see a white pickup truck. And you just see my onesie. And there's a Denny's in this hotel, guys. I'm hoping it's a lot cleaner than the one at Abbotsford, but there's a Denny's. Oh, and guys, you know how this morning I said we were going to a Soyuz? No, this is not a Soyuz sauce. <laughs> see what I did there? But we're in Penticton, and it's great because I used to live in Penticton when I was like a baby, like a little munchkin. I used to live here. My mom used to live here too as a kid. So guys, I'm gonna hook up my Apple TV, watch some Full House, and eat my dinner. Don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm weird, but you all know that. You all know that? That's why you're hitting that subscribe button. Thank you. Hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, you strut. This is gonna be a fun day, I can tell. And I love this, so this cut thing sign right here, so this is the background holding. Please reuse your cups, right? Put your name on and all that stuff. Normal, fine. Oh, knocking over a light. But look at the cups. They're the, they're the, the cone cups. So you can't just like put them down on the table and have it, you know, have all the liquid be fine and they'll fall over. <coughs> Why would they do the cone cups? Do the normal so that people can put them on the table.